412-1932, where I flew from St. Paul to Wabasha in the left outboard propeller blade, throwing motor out of support, landed safely with eight passengers, trip completed with another Ford just one hour late. This is half of a piston that was in the right cyclone engine, which dropped out of the Ford tri-motor in about May of 1932. It was the first time that an engine had ever fallen out of an airplane. There was a lot of controversy as to whether or not you could still fly with an engine weight gone. We didn't know anything about aviation in those days, and the pilots would sit around and talk about these things. What would you do? What? But uh, nobody knew. About half the guys said it wouldn't make any difference. The other half said, well, you wouldn't be able to hold it. You wouldn't be able to control it with all that weight unbalanced. We're flying on this trip to Chicago. It's a beautiful afternoon. We're down over Wabasha, Minnesota, alongside the Mississippi River. And I was flying the airplane, and all of a sudden there was a tremendous choke. And Mel, the captain, looked at me, what did you do? I said, I didn't do anything. He looked out the side window, and he started pulling power out of his back and turning switches off. And I said, what's going on? He said, take a look. So I get up on my chair and I look over and there's no engine there. I said, look further and I look and here the engine is lying in the piece strut of the landing gear. So we had to decide whether to drop the engine or to try to land with it there. And Mel decided there's no way that we could land it safely with the engine hanging on the wheel. And so he decided to drop it off. And we went over the Mississippi River and we tried to drop it off by dropping the nose and shaking the stick and the rudder pedals and dislodged the engine. And we thought we were dropping it in the river where it was safe. And we get up and we land the airplane and Mal did a terrific job of that. He brought it in the airplane when the engine, when the wheel dug in when the engine the airplane came around, the tail came up, then it dropped back down. Well, while we're on the ground, the telephone rings. A guy calls up and he said, did anybody lose an engine out there? And I uh, said, so, yeah, what, what? He said, well, I just had something drop. I had an engine come in and drop in my yard. He, he was out building a chicken coop and this engine dropped about 200 feet from him. <clears throat> because, see, what we didn't realize Traveling 100 miles an hour, we're throwing that engine. We weren't just dropping it off. We were throwing it. And so instead of dropping in the river, which we hoped to have it do, I had ended up 200 feet from this guy building the chicken coop. So they got the engine back, and then the mechanics were kind enough to take a piston, cut it in half here, and make an ashtray for me. <laughs> it was quite a relic.